Bob, I've got the intel, and they are saying this nine's corner. She's working for Hillary, she's working for Obama, and they're working for Biden. It's all fake news. It's a witch hunt. And let's face it, I don't do nines. I only work with tens. Are we off? Yes, Mr. Pressman. Bob, you know she's a Canadian spy. She works for that Trudeau. Oh, bonjour, comment ça va? He tried that on um, millennia. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome to Nine's Corner. I hope you're doing well, feeling well. And as I'm sure you can see, there's a lot of smoke here. Our subject matter is going to be difficult, so I've been doing an extra cleansing for the negativity. So I thought I'll keep my smudge stick going and we do a little smudging together. So let's just ask the universe, ask our ancestors to please give us peace of mind for those who are watching to allow the smoke to take up all the negativity and let it be replaced with love and hope for the future. Allow us to share our healing energies for the greater good of all. Okay guys, I'm not going to uh, take a long time here. We're going to get straight into the reading because I'm sorry, there's, there's no words to say how grotesque the fact that not only did they separate children at the border, not only had they lost children, they don't know if they're okay, where they are, where they are in the country, are they alive, have they been sex trafficked, like... I mean, beyond chaos, beyond, um, you know, tragedies against humanity, it's beyond anything that could be comprehended. And then to think that here they are in the camps that are in the U.S. and they're treating them as though they're animals and taking away their right to have children taking away gets forced sterilization on people that do not want it probably aren't understanding what's happening like my god what is happening so this needs attention and we're going to look into this and see what is going on what's going to happen to all these poor people now you know is trump going to pay for this i doubt i really don't think so i don't think he's going to be long for this world Lies, the, the, you know, the, the wheels of justice, they're very slow. So I feel like Trump's going to get away with it just for the mere fact that. But I don't think that this stain is going to go away. I don't think that the karma that has been built because of this situation is going to go away until somebody deals with it. So let's have a look and see what's going around this situation. So first up, we've got the Six of Wands. So here we're looking at the want to get over a time of frustration, a time of intolerable circumstances. They're waiting for almost like they're waiting for the new leader. They're waiting for somebody who's going to come in because the hope is still there because the want and the need is still there. Covering it is the two of pentacles. So here we're looking at being between a rock and a hard place. These people aren't coming here because, you know, they're doing so well at home. They want to come and try it out somewhere else. They're doing it because they are literally between life and death. Underneath it all, we've got the pentacles, the, pa the knight of pentacles. So underneath it all is the slow progression of the building of the wall this is Trump's desire to hold at bay those who are not like him, that don't look like him. If you think that black lives matter to Trump, then it just doesn't. This is all about paying um, almost like there's an ancestral continuation of paying for or paying making money off the lives of others that you think are less than. There's almost like a, a 
almost like a carrying through of that message that he was born and raised with. It's almost like through Donald Trump, don't kid yourself, Fred Trump is, is there working as well. On top, we have the hangman. So right now, the situation is being seen through the eyes of Trump and Trump Republicans, but this will change. There will be a change of how people see it. And it's almost like, this is a major card. This is a major arcana. This is going to be something that will change history. So I don't even think, even with the tragedies that we're talking about, I don't even think we've got the full story or anywhere near it yet. This is the Knight of Cups. It is referring to the, mi the immigrants, the migrants, that are wanting and needing for a better life, for a safer life for them and their family. They're coming majority, the you know, 99.9 .9 are coming with their heart full, wanting for that American dream to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness is not happening right now. We've got the five of wands. There's a feeling of loss. There's a feeling of, of complete devastation. And the worst thing I, I find about this card, because of the pentacles being almost like a glass religious window, there's almost like a, a feeling of not just being left out financially or being left out through racism. It's almost like being left out to being less than a human is the feeling. It's such a strong, devastating feeling. We have the strength card. So... I believe that the, the strength card oftentimes can refer to things that are from the past that you will have to have the ability and strength to get through to in the future. So I almost feel like this is an indication because everything here is kind of like a delay. We've got the two of pentacles, delay, hangman, delay, knight of pentacles, moving slowly. Then the five of pentacles, meaning that you're going to be going through a really hard time of loss and, you know, five, five of pentacles is, is, is futuristic so we're talking about a, a, a longer span of time so for me it's almost like the tragedies that have befalled the border and what has occurred um, this will be dealing with for years and years and years and it's almost like no matter what the US can say or do it'll never make up for the loss I mean you're taking away people's children and then taking away their ability to have children but the strength is there that I believe that there will be lawsuits, legalities, and this is not just like a one time only. It's going to be years in the coming and the making. How people feel about it. We have the moon. So people see that this is, you know, almost like this shadow mystery that is almost too taboo to even consider that it's happening. But there are these whistleblowers, there are these dogs barking at the moon to say, hey, look at this lunacy, what's happening here? And if you see, like there's lots of information is going to be coming out. It's just going to be this ongoing story. It's not, it's going to take years, years. The thought that's hoping, they're hoping or fearing is the emperor. Their fear is the payback. Their fear is the children, the generations of children that are going to be ill-affected and how they're going to come back into the U.S., back to the U.S. through lawsuits, through the legal system to say, hey, look what happened. Now it's time to pay the piper. The end result is the King of Cups. Now, I know, you know, um, court cards can refer to people but in this instance I'm not getting a person vibe I'm almost getting the king of cups being the solver of problems the king of cups being that the universe the 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 the, the essence of a, in, of energy that that will that kind of keeps the flow of life happening regardless of our intervention on it will the universe is going to take care of it it's almost like there's a divine order, a divine law that's going to take care of these children. There's a whole reason and rhyme that we're not privy to that all of this comes to pass. Okay, let's look at the divine order. What does the future hold? So if we're kind of on a delay, we're not going to see a whole lot of things moving. And even when they do start to move, it's going to be so hard to look at. And there's going to be people who don't want to take responsibility. And then, you know, no matter how bad a situation is, when it comes down to the, to the, the almighty dollar, even those who have the most empathy and sympathy can certainly change. 
So in the future, what does this mean? We've got the Knight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of movement on it. There's going to be like the, the a rush of, of once the cases, once things start petering through and we start to see the results of what occurred. This is going to be a nightmare of history, history where you're going to be hearing about Donald Trump even after he's gone out of power, even when he's gone out of this world, his influence and what has occurred over the last four and God willing only years is going to repeat and repeat and repeat. There is going to be so much sorrow, so much tragedy, and it's just going to be a case of complete and utter heartbreak. It's going to be on a world stage, something where people are just going to be shocked at how truly bad it was. And I do believe that there's going to be uh, information coming out, three forms of information that's going to tie directly Donald Trump and his administration. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's like Donald Trump, Pence and Barr having some kind of oversight where they, they knowingly put people in harm like they knowingly you know pen secretly were like yeah that'll be good that's his you know his his little deal here we've got the lover cards so yes here's the here's all the mountains of problems that they're they're putting all these issues between these people this is the sterilization but look at the angel overviewing it god is watching the universe is watching whatever it is that you believe there is going to be a karmic uh, a karmic uh debt that's going to be paid and Donald Trump oh God bless him if he comes into another life because we've got the Queen of Pentacles so there is going to be somebody who's going to come in and <clears throat> deal with the situation but I also kind of I, as soon as I start saying that I stop myself because I kind of got this automatic feeling that this is the US this is the Queen of Pentacles will be the US in the future having to pay out money and it's going to not just be money it's going to be a need to correct the mistakes that were made they're going to have to have not just a money trail but they're going to have to start some kind of um i wouldn't be surprised if they start some kind of governmental not agency but like some kind of group where it's like okay we're biden then we're going to put this group in where you take care of finding out where are these kids what happened and they're going to slowly make their way through and might not be Biden, like you know what I mean. Like could be Biden them saying, "Hey, we got to look at this." But then over the years, it'll yes, one hundred percent. The eventuality will be that they'll look at it, but it could take you know ten years or longer before you. It's going to take a long, long time. But there's legality all over this as well. Here we got the temperance. There is a definite legal factor going to happen and there's going to be a temperance, but temperance is also, you know, there's like a balancing out. But when you balance out, you never get back to that pure. Like, you know, if you have two liquids and once you pour one into the other, even if it's just the smallest amount, you'll never get back what you had. So temperance is almost like you're going to get back to some kind of balance and the want and the need and the desire is to make it um, better than balanced, make it fair. Yeah, there's going to be a, a, a major transformation on how they do migration, how they, um, how, how, I, and I don't think this is just for the U.S. I see this as almost like the world is going to have to look at how, how do we live as a world? Because we're seeing through pandemics, through the fires, I mean, God bless all the people dealing with the fires. And I mean, in BC, the, the air quality has gone down so much that people are having issues with their health, with anybody who's got secondary diseases. So it just, instead of looking at the blame game and saying, oh my God, the U.S. is causing us. No, we live in this world together. We need to collectively take care of this world together, whether you're in China or Canada or U.S. or, you know, Timbuktu. So before we finish off here... I just want to know, will Trump, even if Trump doesn't pay for his crimes against humanity because they are so many, so many, like there's just going to be history books written on this man because he is such, oh, oh gosh. I want to know, 
Will they at least bring up charges so that Trump's aware that they're aware of his involvement? Will he be, will they finally at some point put charges of, against humanity when it comes to the deaths with COVID, to what he's done at the borders? And I believe Pence is just as guilty because this, this whole border thing has Pence all over it. Will Trump and or Pence and their administration? Okay, I just had a sugar load of cards fall out, so let's have a look. There's going to be an offer that we're not going to like. Secrets. Winning at all costs. So there's going to be the hiding. They're going to put people in their place. They're going to use people to keep the information down, to keep their secrets. There's going to be fast movement, but no, it's turned upside down. There's going to be slow movement page of one so yes this information will come out but it's only a page it's going to take time for this information to come out and yes there will be an eventuality an off uh, um there will be a um a case against pence against trump when it comes to it but it's almost like there's still so many more secrets to come out because they are trying to win at all costs they are slowing down the progression. I'm sure that's through Barr and all them. But the Page of Wands lets you know that there is some action happening behind the scenes as well. So yes, I do believe that between them getting an offer that they don't want and the Page of Cups saying, hey, you are going to be offered something, they're going to get an offer. But again, I feel that because we didn't see the justice, we didn't see you know, the judgment card. We didn't see anything that says, hey, you're going to be paying the piper. I think that Donald Trump will run out of time before he gets to pay for his, um, for all the pain and suffering and for all the crimes against humanity that he has, has done in this lifetime. The one thing that I will say gives me great comfort is the fact that Donald Trump is ego-driven. He's a narcissistic dumbass that needs his ego stroke in order for him to feel good about himself and his worst nightmare no matter what he does literally whether he lives or dies the history books will record him as the worst president there ever was and his name will be it will be used in the same sentences as hitler because when the dust settles and all the information comes out it's going to be scary to find out what this man was all about. And believe me, you, there has been so much uh, papers and information that has been destroyed. God help us. All right, my dear friends, that's it for me. I knew I'd only be able to hit the one subject because it's just a hard subject and there's a lot, a lot of emotion. It's like, there's almost like a feeling of crying. It's, it's, it's not a nice feeling. So I, I'm shutting it down. I'm done. That's it. And until next time, I have our candle lit for each and every one of us. I hope you have a great week. I hope you're working on your 369. I'm loving it. You know, if we keep doing everything the same, we're just going to keep getting the same results. So at least try to do something new. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take very much time. But the production of what can actually happen can be life-changing so I hope you're trying or at least giving it a thought or looking it up or what have you <laughs> and with sincere gratitude I thank each and every one of you for your likes subscribe shares donations all of it I can't tell you you know there's so many times when I'm just feeling down and all of a sudden I get an email just saying good job girl <laughs> and it's like oh god bless you so I really do I'm in such a place of gratitude for you so I thank you I wish you all the best for the rest of your day. If you want to get a hold of me, all my information's in the information box. And until I see you next time, cheerio.